Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to our crazy farming simulator series. But you don't have to stop and... Well, you do have to stop, but it's just a stop sign. Like, that is the whole point of a stop sign. They're very unusual in the UK. You do not get very many stop signs. It's almost all give way. Um, but you don't have to crawl up to the stop sign. You can still drive to the stop sign and then stop. You don't have to crawl all the way. Dog, why are you sat in the middle of the road? That's just not the way to behave. Now, I like the colours on this um, lorry. Like... I, I really do. The, 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 the metallic pink on there, I actually really like that. I think that looks cool. So I'm probably going to get the same colours again. Well, I'm going to return that one. There, all done. And then we're going to go into the shop. We're going to go to this one. We're going to go to animals there. And we're going to go to cat milkman right there. Load capacity small. I will only be getting the next line up when I can afford to buy it. So, until then, we are stuck with load capacity small. Um, we could always get the trailer to go on the back, just to give us a little bit of a boost. But I won't be getting the bigger trailer, the 100,000 litre trailer, until I can afford to actually buy this one. So I'm sort of limiting myself a little bit, but I'm not, like, doing it excessively stupidly so. So, the engine upgrade there... Goes from 500 horsepower up to 640 horsepower. It doesn't make a big amount of difference to anything. And we'll use the bigger engine when we go and buy it. Uh, we've got agricultural tires on there. So I'm not going to change that. Non-decal. We've got French, English, milk we want on there. I'm going to go with that. Um, it's German. Oh, non-decal. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go with that one right there. And what colors are we going to go for? Okay, I do like this metallic pink that we've got here. We could go with lizard pink there, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to go with that. And the tank body color, definitely want that a different color. So last time we had green, we got... I, I like the green. The blue is also good. And a rim color down here, lizard blue, navy blue. I went with yellow before. So whether I go with... Because I don't want brown metallic, not for milk. That just that just feels it feels wrong to do that. Orange. I'm gonna go with the same colours we had last time. I go with the green metallic up on that tank, just because I actually think that looks really cool. So we need to lease this one. We can't go and buy it. Seven thousand right there. And that should now allow me to load and unload the milk a little bit. Well, loading the milk is not a problem because that's the speed that the cattle pen dumps it out at. And we already know what that speed is. It's quick speed. It's, it's a decent speed. We, we like that speed. Uh, but we need the unloading speed of the milk tanker, which is... A wee bit slow at the moment. We need to change that round. So this one here, 25,000 litres. Oops, you hit the hedge there. I should probably remove that bit of hedge, but I actually quite like it there. It's like a little bit of challenge. It's always good to have a little bit. Of, you should challenge yourself one way or another, at least once a day. Now, the milk is from here, so I should be able to just do the milk straight from here. I go across like that. Uh, we need to open it up. And boom. Right, so that does that bit. That's nice and quick. Then we come on round. We've now got a milk bottle factory. Bottle of milk right there. This one holds 100,000 litres and it does 24,000 cycles a month which is slightly insane. Um, it's just doing one, two. However, we're per month and we produce more than that. So although it does look like big numbers, one lorry load per month is all we're actually going to be able to do. Um, I take this lorry load over there, 25,000 litres, and because it's doing one litre of milk into one bottle, uh, that's it. That is all we can do with it. There is nothing else that happens with this one. Uh, so I'll bring that up to there, and the brakes on this one are not great. It, it does take a bit to slow it down. And then we unload super fast like that, which is a whole lot better than what it was doing before. 
So now I can go and take a look at this one and it's already started up 24,000 per month but it is only going to do that and then it will spawn it out as bottles of milk. And I think this gives us an increase of about 25% in price, something like that. Uh, the milk, the, the bottles milk that we take off, that will have to be sold direct. We can't do anything else with it. Um, once it's been bottled, that's got to be sold. Like we, we can't go and take some of the bottles of milk and use them as backup for somewhere else. At least I don't think we can. Uh, we just got to do it like this. So we go there and I'll load up the rest of what we've got. Let's close the hatches. Batten down the hatches. And then we'll go off and... Where else do I need milk? So I just had milk demand come up. So I haven't got any in the bakery at the moment. I haven't got any in here in the donut production. And that's because we need eggs in all of them. So I haven't been worrying about putting any um, milk in any of them. Out of space for butter. I'm not going to do any extra with butter from the dairy over here. Because butter... You lose money. If you were to just make uh, butter out of milk, you would lose money, right? That, that That's one thing that you really do lose money on, but you need it for a load of other ingredients, and that's where the profit comes in. Um, but it's just whether or not I think I should be going through and filling up some of these. So pizzas here. This one, oh, we need to get some olive oil. So it means we need to get the olives going. And we need olive oil for that one. The egg pizza doesn't need it, but it needs eggs, which we don't have. And then we've got this one over here, which we've already got milk in there. The farm dairy, we're just doing raw milk in this one. And that's it. Right. I'll go to the farm dairy. Put that down. So the bottled milk plant, it does look great on the surface, but it only does... 24,000, is it 24? Now that I've gone and looked at it several times, I've forgotten. Was it 24, 40? It's 24,000. That only does 24,000, so it doesn't even do one lorry load in a month. We're going to have to get the next version up in order to be able to start doing more than that. But we've got a couple of things that we can use. We've got this one here. This one does a few thousand a month. I'm not upgrading this one any further than this. It's This is all we're going to do with it, so that one will go there. And then I've got the bit of the dairy. Um, so, yeah, we have got stuff coming in from our milk. But the main problem is I haven't got anywhere to go and put it at the moment. And i shut you off there. The next level up on the milk is going to be a little bit more difficult to get. So if we go and have a look at the cat selection. Uh, cat 5, 1.5 million i got to get 1.5 million. Now, that does increase the uh, output by quite a considerable amount. So, it's it's definitely going to be worth trying to get. Uh, especially as our focus at the moment is on dairy and doing the dairy stuff. Like, it, it's going to be worth it. It's just going to take a while to get there. Now, the greenhouses that we wanted. There, uh, we go to production. We go to greenhouses right here. And they're all under cat as well. So we've got cat five grape orchard. Cat five, cat five, cat five, cat five. Cat five greenhouse is only 500,000, which I feel is cheap. That's not too bad. Uh, these are 25,000. I thought they were 90 grand. Oh, that's right. Okay. The basic olive tree is actually cheap and so is the the basic grape orchard so we could go for one each of these uh the also the greenhouses i can put one greenhouse down that is all and then we have the cat 10 stuff the cat 10 greenhouses are three million and the olives uh, they're a fortune i don't know if i did that or if it was this particular mod but look there this chicken coop we can actually feed them corn as well. I may have done that myself. Honestly, I'm not sure. It's a job to remember what I've done at this point. Uh, but anyway, the uh, I think that we need to be putting in the olives. So we're going to need manure in this one. We're going to need uh, 
seeds and we're going to need water. The solid fertilizer is not something that we're going to need. So I've got an olive tree right there. Which will... It's... Well, it's, we've only got to be able to access it at the front. So I'm actually thinking I'll bring this one over here and we'll kind of like line it up there. And we'll do the olive tree and we'll do the grape orchard could go next to it. Until such time as we can afford like the upgrade bit. And I've got grass in around behind here. I've got a little bit of work to do just to change how things look here. The greenhouses, I won't worry. Out on this side, I'm going to do everything in these brown tiles. I quite like these. Just for a little bit of a change. So the other thing I thought I would do just quickly is put a bit of a road in here so that we don't have to stop and reverse out. Because once we get a trailer on here, I'm going to want to be able to drive right through to tip out for the dairy. So I've done that there. Let me just go and... Oh, wait a minute. I actually... No, uh, there. A uh, running multiplier key. I turn that one on. Right, so now I've actually got a key I can press to give me the run speed that is much easier for getting around. And then I want to just remove that and that one. And then I will just want to polish this little bit right here because that doesn't look good. And I've gone for the same pattern that I've got sort of through this side, just for this little bit of road, because I thought that would look better. So I'll do that in there, like that, and job done. Right, so now I've got a through road, and we come along here, and we get to here. And then over this side, I've got the grape orchard right there, just a little one, and I thought that looked weird growing through the um, slabs, so I put down a bit of grass there. And also, then we've got this one as well. I don't need to worry about picking anything up because these are both going to be set to automatically deliver. So that one will automatically deliver the grapes to wherever the grapes got to go, uh, which would be the raisin factory. I don't think they actually go anywhere else because the both the cereal ones they're waiting on the raisins. So that's yeah, and and that's it. I think it's just the the raisins to go into there. So I've got the grape orchard, which would be we can just make grapes right away, or we can get some fertilizer and that going in there. We can either put manure in here and have um, that output, or we can have the solid fertilizer. And I'm going to use the solid fertilizer that we've got in our silo because why not? Like we've got loads and loads of that, so I can just put it in here. Now water, I will just go and buy that. Because i got the thing where I can go and buy water, which is absolutely wonderful. So we will buy that water there and fill that one all the way up. That one's done. And I will take solid... Let's not. Let's go with the manure because it's going to be easier. I just suddenly thought, well, I don't know if I can put the solid fertilizer back into that machine that we use. And I don't want to trail a load of fertilizer just sitting around. That's going to be a real nuisance. So we'll do the, the manure one instead. So I'll activate that one. And I need to do the same with the olives. So we want that one right there. And then I want to buy a bit of water. Oops, what did I just do then? Uh, oh, I just activated it. Right, that's okay. And you got to select, you got to click on the water each time to make it work. So we do that, and then that like that. Uh, I need to get seeds in here. This is the only thing is I do need to have a thousand liters of seed. But uh, rather than bringing that over, I'm just going to buy the seed because. All I'd be doing is going down to the thing down there, buying the seed and bringing it back, and then I'm going to have to have a pallet of seed just kind of like lying around, and it's just going to be a, a mess, and I don't want to worry about that. So I, that's my justification for just buying the seed straight like that there. So I'll do that, and uh, all right, well, I'll do it with the... I'm actually buying the one for the other. Uh, I'll go in here, and we'll buy that one. Manure we will bring over and we will tip out. And that way we've got the manure one running and we've got the manure one running on there. So that's olives. Now olives, the only place that they will go is actually to the oil plant. So I need to go and find that one, which is their olive oil. 
200,000 liters of olives will come into there. So the sunflower oil is distributing. I'll activate that one so the olive oil will come in. And then the olive oil that goes out, we will change the output mode. That's going to go to distributing. I need to make sure that these here, grapes, sell, distribute. We want to distribute those. And also the olives, they want to be distributed as well. So we'll change that. And that's going to go to distributing. So then I've got the grapes. They're going to be going to the uh, raisin production. And we go over here. So I'm not making grape juice. I think grape juice is actually a profitable thing to do. But we want raisins because we're then going to want them to go on a bit further as well. So I'll activate that one. And then I'll go to here and change the output mode to distributing. That's then going to send the raisins into the cereal. Now I've got no oats, no corn. So that's not going to make anything. And we don't have any bees yet. Cereal here, again, I've got some chocolate going in and I've got some sugar going in, but I don't have anything else. So it's going to take a bit. We've got to get oats and I need strawberries to make that one work. And cake also needs strawberries. So if we're going to get a greenhouse, I mean, I don't have any money for it because I've just gone and spent it. But when we do have a little bit of money, uh, we're going to want uh, the strawberry greenhouse above all others. Now... Digest it, I got 54,000 in there, which would then be brought across and put into this one to be turned into fertilizer. And several people have said, look, we're playing this unrealistically and uh, uh, the money is not coming in in vast quantities at the moment. So leave this on, I think we've got a four times reduction on our fertilizer on there. It's right down the bottom down here. Uh, yeah, it's a four times reduction. It should be to be um, what the base game values digestate versus solid fertilizer we should be doing that at 66 to 1 but people have said leave it as it is sell the surplus fertilizer because that will be a bit of income we're not going to be like destroying the balance of things because there's only so much digestate that we're going to be producing but it'll make a little bit of extra money for us so okay i will do i'm quite happy to go and do that now, the next thing that we want to do... Oh, I actually want to use up the food for the cows, don't I? I completely forgot about that. Right, okay, so we want to use up food for the cows, which means I'm going to want... Uh, you know, I'm just going to leave that one there for a second. And the one here... Mineral feed! We've got 772 litres of mineral feed. That's not a lot, is it? Let me fast forward time until a little bit later in the day. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to rush over and I'm going to get a trailer. And I'm going to take the very small quantity of mineral feed that we've got. And I'm going to take that over to our feed factory over there. So we'll go to now, 6 o'clock. That's just fine right there. I'll take the little bit of mineral feed that we got and we'll take it over to the uh, mixed feeder for the cattle. And I will put that going then and we can make a little bit of mixed feed ready for the morning to put in for our cows when the other food that we've got is completely gone so this one i think we've got to go under here to do the unloading so go in there 670 why is that only 600 what i had more than didn't i have 700 and something or if I did I read it wrong? Maybe I read it wrong. It says, "Oh, it's because I've got it there. It's it's on the wrong thing. It needs to go to um there. This one uh, change output. It needs to go to distributing because it doesn't actually distribute to anywhere. I don't think. I don't think it does. Maybe it does." Let's have a look. Where's the... Uh, there. Total... Huh. I'm not sure. Mineral feed. If you set it to spawn, it will spawn the pallets outside. I think... No, I'm sure you don't set it to distributing. Output spawn. I think you've got to set it on spawn. 
But that means, because I've got a mod that stacks pallets, I've got to have 6,000 pa uh, 6, litres just sat there doing nothing. Which I didn't really want. That's, that's not how I wanted to do things. I don't want it sat on pallets over here. That's not going to help me at all. And I can't load it from those types of pallets. I'm going to have to pick them up. And right now, I actually need the... Right now, I actually need the stuff. So, okay. Wow, this thing is 1.3 tons. I am really strong. Let's dump that lot in there. I will pick these up and we will put them in here like this, even though I don't really want to be doing this. So we're going to end up with 6,000 litres just sat here, because if I do distributing, then it's going to auto-magically take it round. You know what? We can do that. I don't know what I'm getting um, worried about. Like uh, I'm distributing everything else, so let's just distribute this as well. So uh, let's go to you and then change output mode, selling, distributing. So there, we're now distributing. So that's going to go automatically over to the next spot. I don't think it did previously. I think, um, I'm not sure how it worked last time. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're doing it like this now. That's going to come over here. I've got no silage or hay in there, but I can deal with that very quickly. We can go and put that in right now. So I'm going to tip that one out. There's our mineral feed. Fido has gotten in the way there. He's going to end up getting a headache if I have to keep driving over him like this. 3,700 right there. So that takes 250, 250, and 450 for the silage. I'm going to activate that one so that is now running. And I need to get myself the 600 cycles. I need to get hay and silage in here. So we'll use this trailer. It only does 22,500 liters at a time which is not a massive amount but when we get a bigger trailer then we'll be able to do bigger amounts right now it doesn't really matter we just like a trailer load of each would be enough i'm going to get a trailer load of hay and i'll do two trailer loads of silage and that will give us a decent bit of food and then that will start making into total mixed ration for the cows that we will then be able to use to feed them tomorrow when they have eaten up all the silage that we've got there. The only downside to this trailer is that it's quite slow tipping out. But that's because I don't have the fast trailer. And yeah, I can get the fast trailer, but again, it's... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to lease stuff. Like, if, if I can help it, I want to avoid leasing. Where's... There should be hay in here. Silage, grass, solid fertilizer, mixed ration chaff. Where's the hay? Oh, there. Hey, man! Where's the hay? There's the hay. And now I have all of the necessary ingredients going in. And we are already making some mixed ration in here, which is absolutely fan -schmastic. So by the morning, I should have enough to feed the cows a little bit. I'm going to get one more trailer load of silage in there, and I'm then going to call it a night, and we will go and get some shut-eye, and then we can see about moving a bit more of this stuff around in the, in the morrow, on the morrow. Uh, so let's go back to the silage here. Yeah, I don't know why that's gone in that order and not in the other order that I want it to be, but oh well, there we go. And we will put this in here. And then in the morning, we will have... Uh, there's milk that we need to deal with, and there will be a few other things as well. So the bottled milk plant is going to put the milk out, and then we can just sell that at the sell anywhere plant. And the other milk one that distributes that automatically. The olives and the raisins, they're now being produced. And then the olive oil and stuff that's going into the pizzas. So if we take a look down with the pizzas, those are actually going to now start producing something. We got here. Yeah, we don't need to worry about those red dots on there, but pizzas right here. So this one here, I need tomatoes to be able to do that one. I've already got cheese coming in. That's full of cheese now. And the potato pizza, that one will actually be able to start running. So we'll activate that one right now. Because soon we will be getting the olive oil coming in. 
Egg pizza, obviously we can't. The pizza marinara and the margarita, we need tomatoes for both of those, so we need a tomato-based greenhouse, uh, which we don't yet have. So that's on our to-do list of getting greenhouses. Strawberries and tomatoes are our top priority for greenhouses. It is October, and we have a pumpkin decoration has just turned up for October, which is really cool. I didn't know there were seasonal decorations here. And also, I see right there we have a sheep. Let's see if we can grab that one. There we go. Found a sheep. There are eight more to be found. It's 1,000 in collectibles. I now have minus 16,000 because I've got some factories running and doing stuff. Um, costing us money. See, these uh, are running, and I've got some of the factories, I've, like, put a price on them running because I don't want them to be really cheap. So that's, like, 240 a month there. I mean, this is only 960 But I've done this quite deliberately, made sure that we do have to pay for some of these things to be able to run because I don't just want them all to run for free. It doesn't seem right to go and do that. The bottled milk plant has got 16,000 litres of milk waiting in the thing. And I don't know, it should be 1,000 litre pal... Let me go in here. It should be 1,000 litre pal... Oh, wait, what? Why aren't... What? What's going on here? That's on spawn. I haven't changed those pallets, I don't think. I mean... Oh, I'm confused. That shouldn't have... That should be spawning. Right, well, I'll leave it, because maybe I've got them set for 25,000 litre pallets or something daft, but I didn't think I did with the low-level one. I didn't think that was something I'd done. Right. Never mind that. We need to take a look at our cows. We've got 12,000 litres of food left. Uh, we've got 25,000 litres of milk. So it's not like a huge amount that we need to worry about with them. Uh, the minus 16,000 is a little bit concerning. We will fire this one up. And we will take a little bit of a journey on around here. Now we can just go forward and go in a loop. Just make life easier. I should probably cut off the... You know what? Let's do that a second. Oh, that's great. If you've got negative income, you can't do it. Even though it doesn't cost any money, it still won't let you do any um, landscaping if you're on negative. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.